Frank, today the Obama administration announced, uh, along with other partners, that they would be releasing uh, 30 million plus barrels of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Uh, why did this happen today, and what kind of impact is it going to have? So two things have happened. So it was a coordinated stock draw with the International Energy Agency, so 28 member countries, including the United States. And the total draw is going to be 60 million barrels over the next 30 days, um, 30 from the International Energy Agency countries and 30 from the United States. Uh, the 30 coming out of the IEA will be crude oil and refined products, uh, mostly in Europe. Um, the 30 from the United States will be light, sweet crude oil uh, coming from the Strategic Reserve. Why is it going to be light, sweet crude? So the, the argument, the volumetric argument, because um, typically you only use the strategic stocks uh, to respond to a supply shortfall. So the President started making a case about a week and a half ago where he talked about the cumulative impact of what we've lost from Libya being out of production, although there's been some offsets by other producer countries increasing supply. And the calculation is that that's been about, um, in a cumulative side, about 140 million barrels, right? So what they're trying to do with the OPEC meeting last week, certain OPEC members, notably Saudi Arabia and the Gulf countries, said that in response to higher prices and increased demand, they would increase production in July. Well, the production that they increase in July won't actually get to refiners and consumers for the next 45 to 60 days. So the action that the IEA and the administration took today is to provide this cushion, this interim cushion, where we will release product stocks and crude stocks starting as early as bidding next Wednesday. So they'll be in the market in the next 20 days or so to, to supply that cushion of extra um, oil for demand for the next two months until uh, the OPEC supply can actually get here. But why now? Is this to give Americans and others around the so world I relief? Think, yeah, I think the question was, it initially, when Libya went down, it was light sweet crude oil. So that, that talks about why we're releasing light sweet crude oil from um, the Strategic Reserve. But there was the expectation in some quarters that within 30 days, 60 days, Libya would be resolved. Refiners in Europe were just going to turnaround season. They had adequate refined products at the back end of the refinery, and they weren't sure if they should buy more crude oil to start running it. When they started coming out of their maintenance season, they saw that they were short of supply. And then the question is, do you go on the market and bid it up? And if the global economy is turning around, will you have a market for those products to sell at high prices when it's done? So there was this question whether or not the, the market was adequately supplied. And the IEA, looking in uh, retrospect, decided that in the third and fourth quarters of last year and the first quarter of this year, we actually had to draw on stocks to meet, make supply and demand come back into balance. And their expectation is that if things tighten up in the second half of the year, we're actually going to need more oil. So hence the, the, the call on OPEC to start ramping up production so that the economy could continue its growth. I think the Obama administration, the question on timing is a critical one, right? So there were some of us that argued if you were going to do this, you should have done it after Libya. Um, but that the market seemed to be adequately supplied at that point. The expectation is the only way that higher prices come down is either through lower economic growth or oversupply. And at this point, I think the administration said, if we're going to err on the side of putting more oil out there to see if people want it, we'd rather have it balanced on the basis of oversupply than more economic hardship. What's been the reaction to this uh, strategic decision um, around town and also on Capitol Hill? So starting with international markets, so the price of crude oil dropped $5 a barrel this morning uh, with the expectation that some of those speculators that had been long in the market in part based on the premise that we would never draw down stocks because we do it so rarely, that this could be another way of balancing the market. So if you were long in the market, now you uh, had, it, had it become a little more short. Um, for the political side, I think uh, so Senator Bingaman put out a release that he welcomed the addition of supplies. Chairman of the Senate, Senate Energy, Energy Committee. Committee Chairman, right. Um, questioned the timing. So maybe it should have been done sooner, but glad that it was done now. Uh, the Republicans on the House side especially haven't heard much reaction on the Senate side, but on the House side said that this is inconsistent with the administration's position on like offshore drilling or the Keystone Pipeline. And they're, they're really two different arguments. So one is a near-term injection of supply, one is a longer-term policy to bring additional supplies to market. And in fact, you kind of need both. Um, so it, it's just a matter of how you approach the situation. So this will be something that we'll be examining throughout the summer. Absolutely. Um, we're coming up to the 4th of July. The driving season here starts traditionally around Memorial Day, ends around Labor Day. 
Um, driving and gasoline sales have been off a bit, in part because we were looking at $4 gasoline. That's moderated in the last couple of weeks. So the proof will be in the pudding. See who bids on the oil and what they're willing to pay next week. Frank Verastro, thank you for your time. Pleasure.